Hello. Okay, now can you first of all introduce yourself? Okay, thank you very much for that question. Uh, first and foremost, we are a company called Regal Global 9 and uh, we are essentially a digital uh, advertising company that does uh, projects that is related to the entertainment and also on the uh, web and as well as apps. And uh, one way for us to engage the community, we have decided that after engaging the community, the, the netizens and so on and so forth, uh, the idea of organizing a beauty pageant called Miss Virtual Malaysia was created. And uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, we have managed to, we have managed to uh, gain traction and uh, successfully launch uh, the, uh, the, the first... Uh, sorry, want to start again? Okay, yeah. So we have uh, basically successfully launched the uh, intro on the 16th of March, followed by today's launching at the Four Seasons Hotel. And uh, Alhamdulillah, things are working smoothly, even though it has been a challenge for us, but I think we'll endure. Thank you. Uh, so why did you guys decide to do Miss Virtual Malaysia? that has been explained actually why we decided to do Miss Virtual Malaysia. Um, social media is extremely powerful, especially in today's day and age. We know that um, social following is important as well, um, but it's a little bit beyond social following. We want to see how people who you know, have used social media as their tool and want them to use it positively and show us how they can actually represent a beauty pageant simply through social media. Hence the entire name, Miss Virtual Malaysia. So, uh, tell us, uh, how can people join this Miss Virtual Malaysia? Well, it's very easy. First of all, all you have to do is go on to MissVirtualMalaysia.com, register, and you'll, um, you'll go through the first screening test. There's going to be two online voting sessions, so make sure you girls actually deserve the vote, okay? You have to create your content on social media and try to get as many votes as you can. And there's also going to be one face-to-face -face audition. So the face-to-face -face audition, um, that will we will actually fly down any participants from West or East Malaysia, Sabah, Sarawak, Penang, doesn't matter. We'll fly you down to Kuala Lumpur for the face-to-face -face audition. Before the finals, on the 31st of July, we'll be picking 18 finalists. What are the key requirements for someone to become uh, I believe some of the requirements, um, first of all, we have the height requirements, which is 168. Mm -hmm. And it has to be Malaysian. Evelyn, will you help yeah. me with this? Yeah. So the list of requirements are listed on the website, but they have to be a Malaysian, they have to be born a woman, <laughs> and um, they are they have to be good as well in the digital age, right? Because that's why we started this in the first place. But um, other than that, everybody are welcome to join. Um, what happens after Miss Virtual Malaysia? What is the next step for the winner or the participants or whatever? What's the next step after that? Okay, um, the idea is to create and to participate in the region under the ASEAN Economic Community and as you are aware that uh, we have friends and families all across the region and what we want to uh, aspire for Malaysians across the board is to enable the beauty pageant contestants and also the winners to participate and transfer and share that knowledge and share that, that life with the rest of ASEAN and that's where we uh, we're gonna follow up with the, uh, the rest of the Miss Virtual in Vietnam. Indonesia, Thailand, Cambodia. Thank you. Uh, when is the finals expected to be? Well, the finals, finals for Miss Virtual or Miss Virtual Miss Malaysia? For Malaysia. Well, Miss Virtual Malaysia, I mentioned just now, 31st July. That is the finals for Miss Virtual Malaysia. And 18 finalists will be competing. Any further questions for us? Uh, what is the, your expectations for this page and what do you hope to achieve? Okay, um, realistically speaking, uh, we are new. Uh, we are not here to uh, compare ourselves with the, the likes of the international brands, but we would like to contribute our expertise, our resources, our networking in the social media, in the netizens, to bring people together and to move forward with the country. 
And as you know, uh, we are facing a lot of challenges nowadays. And I think this will unite us rather than to break us away. And MVM, as far as we are concerned, we also have uh, another uh, project that we are handling, which is nut car and nut food, where it's basically another alternative to the likes of Grab and Go Ride and so on and so forth. But it, it's a much local flavor in nature. So the winners will be appointed as ambassadors, ambassadors to uh, NACA, and they will promote this, and they will go down the ground. So unlike uh, a typical conventional beauty pageant, we are engaging the community. And that's where uh, millennials, Malaysians, whether you are Malay, Chinese, Indian, East Malaysia, Sabahan, Sarawakians, you are welcome to join us. Even you are not a contestant, you can still join us you can contribute because we are looking for influencers and every one of us are actually influencers. Thank you. Uh, how many subsequent titles will be still not giving this picture? I believe we just have the three winners. So the Miss World, uh, sorry, Miss Virtual Malaysia 2019 of course, uh, first runner up and second runner up. At this stage, I'm not aware of any subsequent titles. Yeah. If they are, they will be updated on the website, will be definitely updated on our social media, which is uh, Miss Virtual Malaysia in Instagram and Facebook as well. The, the entire process is voted only through voting, uh, online voting, or is there going to be physical judging as well? So like I mentioned, there is going to be physical judging, there is going to be a face-to-face -face audition as well, where we will actually bring in fly-in, everyone who's actually passed, whether they're in Penang, Jopor, Sabah and Sarawak, most importantly, we'll bring them down to Kuala Lumpur for the face-to-face -face auditions. So how long will the pageant be? Well, the finals is 31st July, so uh, registration starts now, so that's kind of the estimate. The pageant, uh, finally, I think it will be about one week. Okay, one week. It should be about one week. One week. Uh, what activities plan for videos? That one we can't film just yet. Yeah. So yeah. just stay tuned. Yeah. 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 We'll so it'll be exciting. It'll be an activity mixed with digital and also physical. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon and a warm welcome to the launch and press conference of Miss Virtual Malaysia. How is everyone doing today? Oh come on, we can do a little bit better than that, right guys? How is everyone doing today? It's a pretty big event, so we're all very, very excited to get this show on the road. Okay, so I'm just going to be announcing that we will be shutting the doors as of now to respect all the performances and all of our guest artists that will be gracing the stage with us today. My name is Amelia Henderson, and it gives me great pleasure to be your host today. I work as an actress, TV presenter, and host, and it is, of course, my honor to be standing in front of you today for the launch of something so prestigious like Miss Virtual Malaysia. So, to start things off, we have a very, very exciting itinerary in store for the lot of you, and I'm sure you guys are going to be very excited to see who's going to be on stage, but we're kicking it off with Malaysian icon and legend, Anwar Zain. <laughs> Cintahan dari ini sayang 
Register. Okay, so once you've done your registration and you've passed the first screening, then you are live online. Your voting begins. There will be two online voting sessions, and then there's also going to be a face to face audition. So make sure you pass your online voting session. So, how do you do that? Ladies, you have to tell us why you deserve to be our first ever Miss Virtual Malaysia. You have to tell us your passions. 
Tell us, not just tell us actually, show us. Show us how you can help the community. Because this is not just about a pretty face. Miss Virtual Malaysia is about vogue, beauty, and knowledge. Now, after you've done that, you'll then be fighting for, not fighting, but we will be vying for, 80 finalists will be vying for the Miss Virtual Malaysia title. Now, quick one as well, for those contestants all over Malaysia, whether you're in Penang, Sabah, Sarawak, it does not matter, we will fly you down. All board, and we will all bear the cost of your accommodation and flight as well. So, once again, we want to welcome absolutely every Malaysian, West Malaysia, East Malaysia. Do join our pageant because your accommodation and transport down here for the face-to-face -face auditions and for the finals are completely covered. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are also wanting everyone here to encourage as many of these beautiful girls that you know for them to actually join our pageant. And we are also going to reward you for that. Now the person who can encourage the most ladies to participate into Miss Virtual Malaysia will be walking away with a brand new Huawei P30 Pro. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give it up for our sponsors who made this happen? Now for those who are just encouraging, you're already getting a Huawei P30 Pro that is worth over 3,500 ringgit. The prize pool for the winners of Miss Virtual Malaysia is up to 70,000 ringgit. Ladies and gentlemen, how amazing is that? The 70,000 ringgit it comprises of our sponsors' products. It has flights and accommodations as well for our winners. Aside from that, of course, you'll have your beautiful crown, the beautiful sash, and you'll be named as Miss Virtual Malaysia. Now, your prize money. The prize money is pretty exciting. The third prize winner will be going home with a 3,000 USD cash prize. Our second prize winner will be getting 5,000 USD. And last but not least, for Miss Virtual Malaysia, she will be walking away with 10,000 USD. How amazing is that, ladies and gentlemen? Big, big round of applause to our sponsors. Thank you very much for making this happen. It is a huge prize money that we definitely appreciate and we're looking to have some really good quality contestants that will be online and on social media to show us why they deserve to be our very first Miss Virtual Malaysia 2019. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, my name is Amanda Andrea, the spokesperson for Miss Virtual Malaysia. I will be there later on for the press conference uh, later this evening, so feel free to ask me absolutely anything. I will try my best to answer them. But for now, I will give the floor back to the beautiful Miss Amelia Henderson. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Amanda. All right, ladies and gentlemen, very exciting stuff, huh? So I'm sure you're all eager to know a little bit more than what Amanda briefed us on stage. So for the next part, I'd like to welcome to the stage our chairman, Des, to enlighten us a little bit more about Miss Virtual Malaysia, as well as its exclusive organizer, RG9. Give it up for our chairman, Des. Yo, yo, yo. Thanks, Amanda. Everybody, assalamualaikum. And a good afternoon. Come on, let's get it. Hello. Hi. 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 We've got uh, uh, 10 countries representing uh, the beautiful ladies from Europe, Bosnia, Russia, Ukraine, all the way to Korea, all the way to Thailand, and of course, Malaysia. Come on, come on, Malaysia. Woo! Come on. We've got to show what Malaysians are about. Okay? Okay. First and foremost, my name is Chairman Des. Nama Glamour lah. Nama Glamour. Kau nak panggil nama betul kan nanti, susah juga. So, on behalf of Regal Global 9, we are very proud and honoured to be the first company or the first unknown company in the industry to organise such an event called Miss Virtual Malaysia. Please, thank you very much. And, um, we started off uh, 16th of March with a small intimate intro in this hotel and uh, for the viewers at home and in the internet.
Can we get the audience to say whether Four Seasons is good? It's great. Come on! Ah, we want to give the best of the best. So we start off in Four Seasons Hotel. I mean, you've got to see. And lovely, Amanda. Beautiful, seperti biasa. Thank you, thank you. And of course, we started off just now with Anwar Zain. And uh, I would like to also thank the sponsors, especially Na Abu. Na, ah, yang mana yang tak faham nak tu, ah, tanya orang nak tu. Ah, ada nak tu. Tapi ada juga nama Dr. JC. Aku tak tahu siapa ni Dr. JC. Johan Carlos ni dia. Oh, hebat. Tapi kulit macam saya, tapi lemah. So, uh, I would like to basically explain a bit more what Amanda was saying just now on uh, MVM. Essentially, it's all about teamwork. Essentially, it's about the heart. You know, Malaysians, you know, we always say, you know, okay lah, boleh lah. So, why not we encourage our fellow Malaysians to go out, to move forward within ASEAN. What better way we get the best of our girls, our ladies, our women, supported by the men, of course. And what better way we start off with MVM. Something new, something unique, something passionate. But I think what you want to do is boring, right? You know, when you are stuck, you can't take anything and make a mask. And from there, we want to show that MVM can be something that you guys can participate. You guys can be inclusive. You guys can share that wondrous feeling of being a beauty queen. Because why? We are talking about Vogue. We are talking about beauty. We are also talking about knowledge. If you talk in the digital economy, that's about influences the best of the best they've got followers they decide they define what is good in the economy what is good in their life so for MVM we want to accentuate them we want to bring the best of them and that's why we start off by spending for the very first time a press conference of this nature in Manila. Four season lah, empat musim ni. Eh, tepuk tangan lah sikit. Mana ni? Oh. Kita nak jemput semua-semua yang ada kat depan ni. Ah, bila saya cakap Melayu sikit. Ah, ya, orang Indonesia tahu, orang Thailand tahu. Kukar, sama sikap eh. Kita nak bagi tahu with all the Malaysians that whether you are a Malay, you are a Chinese, you are Indian, you are a Kadazan, you are a Iban, whether you are in Sandakan, whether you are in Kota Baru, whether you are in Penang, we are all Malaysians. And how we share that love, we share with our brothers and sisters in the region. And we share our passion. That's why NA is all about passion on the go. Tepuk lah sikit. Saya nak reach out tu. Saya nak bagi awak semua kelansan tu. Tentang-tentang tu. I want you guys to show that you are part of us. Even though you are not MDM, but you are the MDM. Boleh tak? Boleh tak? Boleh tak? Aduh, takkanlah saya nak nyanyi macam Nazim. Ayah saya nanti. Tak boleh saya makan dengan Nazim nanti. Saya pun minat dia tu. So, coming back to MDM. Have you guys seen the Avengers Endgame? Ooh. I look like Tony Stark, right? I try to be like Tony Stark. Actually, I shot Smee and I did the Chris and apa? Thor ke, Captain America ke, tapi tak fit, tak fit. So, when you talk about MVM, it's all about Marvel Comics Universe, MCU. So that is Hollywood. But when you talk about Malaysia, you talk about ASEAN, we've got our own brand here. It's called MVM. Oh. We have to put our bar to the highest level, which is the Hollywood. 
But we have to start somewhere. And we are starting it now. We are moving. We are getting the ball rolling. And last but not least, I would like to also thank the uh, people that help us with the sponsors, with the event management. Especially, let's give a round of applause to all the beautiful beauty queens, the models that have been invited from all over the place. Come on, guys. Without you guys, you know what you can. Are you that way? So, okay. And at the end of the day, as the representing for Regal Global 9, we would like to hope that please allow us uh, to implement this and try our best to start the ball rolling with MPM. And with your support from the media, I hope we can get the success together. Thank you very much.
Angels look radiant and stunning, ladies and gentlemen. I think part of the reason fashion is so imperative to pageants is because it's all about bringing out your inner confidence and personality and showcasing that in the best way you possibly can. And we're really happy to be partnered with Charis Chain. Her creations are absolutely gorgeous and effortless. If you guys are wondering, what I'm wearing tonight is also from the brand. Not my guy. Afternoon. 
I'm gonna sound a little bit like an auctioneer, because if we do not happen to chance upon the number 36, we'll probably be doing a redraw. Do we have a number 36? No, okay, so in that case, we'll have to pick another number. So the next number is 93. 93. Lucky winner number one. Yes, we have a winner? All right. Could you please join our gorgeous Miss Universe Malaysia on stage to receive your gift? Don't worry, you guys got more, got more. If you guys haven't already pulled out your numbers, this is the time to be doing just that, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to our lucky winner, number one. All right, so we have two more from this round. And our second winner is, can we get a mic on stage, please? So the next number is 220. 220. Do we have our second lucky winner? All right, you guys. Are we gonna find our lucky winner? I, I don't think so, so we'll be moving on to redrawing a second number. Number would be 13. 13. 13. Yeah. Correct? Correct? Number 13. Where have our winners gone today, ladies and gentlemen? Do we have a 13? No? Okay, another redraw. Maybe third time is the charm, right? So the next number is 46. Is there anyone with 46? 46. You know, we're just gonna keep redrawing until we find a lucky winner. You guys are very lucky because there seem to be lots of opportunities for winners here today. One more redraw for our second prize and then we still have one more to go. So it looks like everyone's going home with a little something today. The number is 133. 133? One, three, three. Okay, I just guess we'll keep going then. Don't worry if your number has, oh, you, we found a winner? All right. Congratulations! Congratulations to our lucky winner. Can we get a quick photo? All right, now we have one last prize to be giving out in our first session of the lucky draw. Let's hope we find this number, huh? The number is 106. 106. All right, if we have a winner, please stick your hand high up in the air so I can see you, so you can come up on stage to collect your prize. Can we repeat the number one more time? 106. 106? No? No? Okay, moving on then. The next number is 98. 98. Do we have a winner? I really wish I could have taken part in this lucky draw. Oh, we do in the back. Can you please make your way to the stage? Oh, we have a fan favorite. All right. Congratulations.
We have one last performance.
three songs as well, coincidentally. We hope you're enjoying your meal, and I know you guys enjoyed our first round of the fashion show earlier, so we're bringing up for you another round of fashion show by, once again, Charis Chu. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen.
Alright, once again, some absolutely stunning designs by Charles Ching. Earlier, the fashion show that we all saw was from her bridal collection, and this one is from obviously the evening gown collection, one of which I am wearing for this event. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for all our beautiful models.
Do we have a two votes? Well, I have like two people raised. Do we, do we have a winner at the back? All right. It seems like the gents are taking home all the laptops tonight. Congratulations to our winner. That wraps up our lucky draws for today's event. 242, correct? Yeah. All right. Congratulations once again, and thank you to Jane. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are almost coming to a close for our event for today, but don't worry, we're going to leave you with one final performance. Please help me put your hands together for Fuzzy Zainai.